Tim Allen hid a real mystery in this message to the fans. I've been thinking a lot about makers and takers, you know, because I had something very valuable taken from me. Somebody took my truck. Of course, the truck was a sad metaphor for something that Tim and his crew had been passionately working on for 10 years, Last Man Standing. Tim was able to conceal a goodbye letter in the series finale because he had the honorable privilege of being one of the writers. So what secret message did the actor hide in the finale? Actually, a lot of things. For example, did you get those inside jokes about the truck's GPS that couldn't be tracked? The truck is no longer on the network. <laughs> Vanessa suggested that they could try another network. And of course, she wasn't talking about the truck. Nope, that was a wink to last man standing changing networks. Isn't that brilliant? The show creators wanted to go even deeper and more malevolent with winks and jokes, accusing that guy Neil up the street that his son's a bad guy. Did you get this one? Yep, it's about the Nielsen TV ratings. The writers, including Tim, came up with a huge amount of jokes, but of course they couldn't include all of them. So they decided to pick only the best ones, leaving Neil's son aside. Stupid network, stupid, stupid network. <laughs> but don't take everything too seriously. Kevin Abbott reassured everyone, we love the network, by the way. That's a friendly poke at them because they couldn't have been better to us. Right, that's what we all thought. Another inside joke in the same scene was said by Mike. I've had that truck 10 years. That's longer than I've done improvement on this home. <laughs> yep, this was a reference to Tim's old sitcom called Home Improvement. And indeed, the actor worked on it for 10 years. So his home improving line makes total sense. Do you know what else makes sense? The main goal of the showrunners. They wanted to prepare the audience for the most important scene of the series finale the memorial scene. So when the audience watched it, they would clearly understand the saying goodbye to the truck metaphor. But it's a truck. Yeah, well, don't don't think of it as a truck. Think of it as something this group was involved with for 10 years. I mean, look, Mike may have been in charge, but, but we all played a part. Well said, Vanessa. But enough about the truck. The series finale had more hidden messages, and some of them still remain uncovered. Yes, we're talking about the final scene between Ed and Mike. As Ed was leaving Mike's office, he said, see you tomorrow, and then something happened right before he walked out. Do you remember what? No? We'll help you out here. Ed raised his hand like he was about to say something, but then he just cut himself off and said nothing. And fans couldn't stop thinking about that moment. What did Ed want to say? The interesting thing here is that this moment wasn't originally scripted. This was something that both Hector Elizondo and Tim Allen came up with some time after the script was ready. They wanted to have this short but memorable pause between the two men. Like Ed had something very important to say, but he decided to keep it to himself. Okay. Uh and there's only one man in the world who truly knows what Ed was about to say. It's Hector, and he's kept it private. If you have your own ideas about what Ed wanted to say in that moment, let us know in the comments. Try to be funny and creative, just like Ed. All those little plot details and funny jokes weren't just created by the show's crew. Some of the finale key moments were directed by COVID. Yes, the pandemic forced major changes even to the script of Last Man Standing. Here's the biggest example. Were you sad that Eve made her very last appearance via Zoom? I'm sorry I couldn't be there. I, I really, really wanted to be. We wanted you to be there too. It was really unfair that her character couldn't be with everyone in that emotional endpoint memorial scene. Though COVID doesn't care about fairness. Caitlin Dever was busy shooting Dear Evan Hansen, and the logistics of quarantine didn't allow her to join the cast at all. That's why this creative Zoom decision was invented. And admit it, the fact that Eve was away from her family for this very meaningful moment only helped to make the finale sadder. But COVID's influence was bigger than that. Just like every other sitcom, Last Man Standing Season 9 didn't have a live audience during filming, which felt 100% off, because the cast needs a live audience to be on the show. Imagine filming the very last scene, which was Mike's vlog and nobody being there for his final performance? Kevin Abbott couldn't allow that to happen. 
We invited 45 members of production and family who sat in booths that were sealed and stayed six feet apart. It was very much like an ICU room on that stage, but at least they managed to have live people for the final scene. According to the showrunner, making the vlog scene was very emotional for Tim, and you can feel that watching it. Though I am hurt, I am not slain. I lay me down to bleed a while, then I'll rise and fight again. Well, of course, it wouldn't be Tim if he didn't add humor into his final speech. I loved every moment of that show. I mean, truck. The words in this scene were written by Tim. He intentionally didn't get emotional before that moment, so he wouldn't look maudlin. No bummers! No hay! No bummers! Exactly. Though the cast was indeed very sad. Behind the scenes, of course. Here's what both Tim Allen and Nancy Travis shared about the very last day of working. It was, a t it was way too much for me. Uh, it was a, it was such a strange thing because it, it, we do a comedy. It's a comedy, and uh, and at the end of the day, it's to be entertaining and funny, and so it would almost be like, uh, and here's the joke, but uh, but uh. Yes, everybody cried that day because all of them would miss, um, you know, the truck. And what about you? Did you shed a few tears while watching the series finale? Don't answer that. We know you did. But luckily, it wasn't all that dramatic. It was a bittersweet experience. We think this timeless interview with Tim and Nancy brilliantly represents their relationship. We've known each other, I don't know how many minutes was that? About six life? minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly six minutes. Right, almost. It seems like years though, like yeah. really hard years. <laughs> Definitely hard years. We're both going to hell. We're still, I'm still living. But at least we're going together. Right, together. So I'll know you. I'll so say, we can hey. See, that's what we're talking about. Tim and Nancy had that special connection right from the very first season. And according to Nancy, the secret behind it was all about... It's, it's a lot of juggling of balls, and I say that <laughs> carefully. Because I no, know, you didn't. It's like I serve it up to you. Tim's reaction is priceless here. A lot of juggling, and that's why we get along so well. She knows how to juggle balls. Look at this woman. Hilarious. It was all thanks to their incredible sense of humor that helped to both keep the show rocking and make their relationship stronger. Speaking of working with the cast, Tim was never afraid to get in some dark sort of humor. Yes, even years before the show ended. So they don't mess with me because they're afraid they'll get fired, which they will. <laughs> Watch out. Oh, come on. We know you're not like this, Tim. And that's why we all love you so much. We hope that made you feel a little better, folks. Are you a fan of Last Man Standing? Then don't miss the bloopers video on our channel. You're gonna love it. Thanks for watching and keep on trucking.